So this is a follow-up video on my Fantix P500A. Here I am in my home office where I work during the day and then at nighttime I like to game. Uh, so this is my setup I have right here. I got uh, two monitors um, and I have my work laptop and keyboard over there. That's able to control these two monitors when I'm actually working. But then at nighttime, this is my baby. This is what I spend most of my time on. I want to do a quick follow-up review of this PC case. All right, so if you take a look, this is my new toy uh, that I'm very proud to finally own, get my hands on after uh, several months of trying. It's a RTX 3080 um, Gigabyte Vision Edition. I've had this for almost two months now. I got super lucky on Newegg, signed up for bot alert. So one time, just like many times before, I got an alert uh, that there, there was a GPU with a PSU bundle. Um, I clicked on it and I got super lucky and I got it. Um, so as you can see here, um, it was off and it turns back on. I like that little feature over here. So let's kind of go over uh, an overview of this case uh, and what I've done to it. And just, I mean, I'm just really happy to own this case. Um, so if you saw my previous video before, I put these fans externally to the case. I like the way it looks. I like how the fans are outside. Um, rather than behind the grid, uh, you're able to see the circles um, of it much more nicer. So the good thing about this case here, it is very versatile. In the almost three to four months of owning this, I have gone through so many different editions of my PC doing iterative updates to it. And I think I finally got it to the point where I'm just completely happy with everything I have and I'm just going to leave it as it is. All right, so first thing that's worth mentioning is, again, my uh, GPU. If you saw my previous video, I had a vertical mounted GPU that um, that was connected a little further closer to the, the glass and um, was actually using these feet over here and secured very well, by the way. When I upgraded to the RTX 3080, I just felt that the GPU would be way too close to the glass and not get enough airflow. Um, so what I did is I uh, got a universal mount and I put it, and I put it several inches back, um, extending it a little inward and further back to just give it a little bit more airflow. Um, I like the way it looks, and actually it is crooked, and I did this by design. Um, I wanted it at a slight angle so that air from these inlets would kind of have the ability to kind of flow over it. Um, that was just my logic behind it. I mean, I can have it straight, but uh, this is just what I did. Um, and I have this support bracket, which is completely unnecessary. You do not need a support bracket when you have a vertical mount GPU. I got this for the whole reason that it was just RGB and I put that in there just for aesthetics only. So for my last video, I can tell you I got a new PSU. I got an 851, um, obviously the GPU uh, and a new motherboard. Um, and I got a new CPU. My previous video where I left off, I had a Ryzen 3800X CPU, and that was actually a really good CPU, but when I got a hands on the 5800, the new version that just recently had come out, for whatever reason, I had installation problems. Um, I would update my BIOS on my motherboard, and I would install the new CPU, and the motherboard would just die. Uh, it would refuse to power on despite all the effort. Uh, I ended up getting this MSI. It was probably user error, or maybe could have been a fluke, but either way, got a new CPU, uh, a Ryzen 5800, uh, and then this RAM here, this is another new egg find. It's called Warhawk, I believe. It's a 32 gigabyte, 3600 megahertz RAM. I don't remember exactly the latency speed. So in any case, uh, back to this case. This case is extremely versatile. I've, I've gone in here so many times and it's just so easy to work with. I mean, this case made the job of removing the motherboard, rewiring all the PSU a, a cinch. It wasn't a, a problem. The case was the least of my concern. Uh, I could just really focus on the nuts and bolts of what makes my PC my PC. In my previous video, I mentioned how I used the uh, uh, included RGB control of the buttons on top, which I actually still do like. Um, but, because, but because now that I have an RGB RAM and my motherboard has RGB, those two things cannot sync with the case. Uh, so I reluctantly wired everything and now into the motherboard. I control my RGB lights with the actual software of MSI, which it's horrible. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the MSI Mystic Light or whatever it is they call it. Overall, I will give the Fantix P500A an A+. 
look, I'm not a professional. I'm just a regular Joe who just built his first PC. So I obviously don't have much to compare it to other than the previous two pre-built PCs that I had. Whenever I wanted to make any sort of upgrade, it was just such a pain in the butt to do. Um, so coming from that opinion, I really, really dig this case. Now, I do feel really fortunate and lucky enough to be able to buy and find an RTX 3080 white vision that just matches my case as well as a Ryzen 5800. Those are two things that are uh, really hard to, to get nowadays, but hey, I was able to do this because I bought this awesome case and iteratively for the past three months, incrementally, I've been going in here and just making updates as I'm able to buy things, uh, whether it be the RAM, PSU, GPU, CPU, motherboard, you know, basically, if you're out there and you have, let's just say, a pre-built PC and you're interested in getting into PC building, do what I did. I mean, I honestly had an HP PC, an HP Omen from Best Buy. Um, I got this case and took everything out of that PC and put it in here and bit by bit started upgrading it. So I'm now to the point where everything that I got from my pre-built is gone and I'm really happy with what I have right here. So. So this is just my quick little review, my quick little update. Uh, my original review is in the link below. Uh, and hopefully this was interesting for anybody out there who just wanted to see an update regarding my opinion on this case. Thank you.